everyone. Welcome back for week two. Uh, my name is Jessica and this is our second class of Adaptive Dance Fundamentals with the Mark Morris Dance Center. Um, and today's class is coming to you again from my living room in Brooklyn here. Um, so something to know if this is your first Adaptive Dance class or you're a little unsure, what that means um, is we'll explore all the same skills and ideas that we do in our creative dance and our technique classes. Uh, but the difference you'll see is we're gonna break those down uh, really far into simple pieces as well as use a lot of repetition um, and some visual aids to make the class accessible in that way. Um, we also encourage caregivers to participate in class with your dancers. And as we're going through the class, if you know, you see anything that you feel like, oh, my dancer might uh, feel more safe or this might be more enjoyable for them to do this in a different way, feel free to go ahead and modify. Uh, you know them best. And if you look in the description of the video, you'll see that there is a parent-friendly lesson plan in there. So that'll guide you through uh, what we're doing today. If you choose to do this later on recorded, you can also stop and pause and read as you go along. Um, all of the visual aids are also in that, that same lesson plan as you scroll down, as well as um, a kid-friendly visual itinerary for class. Uh, so if it's helpful to see What's coming next for your dancer, feel free to use that, uh, post it up to guide you along. And last thing before we jump in and get started, um, also in that description box, you'll see a link for our recovery fund. We are suggesting $10 donations for our online classes, uh, but as you know, our dance center is still closed and we uh, still are not having performances. So these donations are our only source of revenue and we appreciate any amount that you can give. All right, so first on our list, um, we are going to do a warm up that goes through some different body patterns. This is uh, similar to the one that we did last week. Last week we did it fully seated on the floor. Uh, this week I'm going to show it demonstrated sitting on kind of a middle level, like a chair height. Uh, so you can choose either of those options. If you want to do it standing up, you can do that as well. All right, defining your spot, whether that's seated, standing. If you're seated, feel those feet on the floor. Good. And we're gonna start just by taking a deep breath in. Breathe in. Come out. Good. Find your head and tail again. Maybe switch hands. 
We're gonna reach them together in the other direction. So we reach them together and apart. Together. Arching up. your arms. Good. Reach them in front of you. Our fingers reach up and down. And up. Wiggle them. Good. Elbows bend. In. Straighten up. to the side of you. Excellent. Good, keeping that other side nice and frozen. Good. Bring it back together. Reach up on your right side. And curve, reach for those toes on the other side. Good, we'll come back up. Reach across. Open. Reach across. Good, let's do two more. Open. Reach across. And open. Reach across. On your side. Open. Reach across. Up. Reach across. Open. Reach across. And open. Good. Last thing. We're gonna shake it off. Are you ready to wake up everything in your body? Yeah, start moving. And shake, and shake, and bring your head in. You might want to close your eyes. We're gonna shake. And come up and freeze. Shake. Come up and freeze. Shake. Freeze. Last one. Shake. And freeze. Go to a more deep breath here. And Great. I hope your bodies are feeling a little bit more awake. All right. We're going to do some standing steps now. Um, continuing to warm up, but working on some of our technique. We are going to do two versions of each of these exercises that we're working on. We'll do the first version all together, and then the second time, you can either try the second version or you can repeat the first version. First step, we're gonna put our hands on our hips so they're staying in place. Find your feet right on the floor under you. Good, 
Toes facing forward, and we're gonna bend our knees. Bend our knees. We call this plie, stretch, plie, stretch. Good, keep going a few more plies. Excellent. So when we plie, you see we feel like we're going lower, right? We're getting closer to the floor. Yes, so our next step, we're gonna go away from the floor. We rise up, lower down. I'm gonna turn this way so you can see my feet. Rise up, lower down. We call this releve, lower, releve, lower, releve, lower. Good job. All right, we are going to do three plies and one releve stretch, yes? We will go plie, stretch, plie, stretch, plie, stretch, releve, and lower. Good, we'll try that twice through. And then we are going to rotate our toes to face away from each other and make our heels touch each other nice and close. We call this first position, yes? Trying the same thing, good. Bending knees and rising up high. And we're gonna repeat that same thing two times in first position. Let's try it all together. ready to hear what our second version is. All right, don't forget, you can keep practicing exactly what we just did if that feels good to you. We go, plie, releve, plie, releve, plie, releve, balance, lower down, plie, releve, plie, releve, plie, Relevate and balance, lower down. We're gonna try that same pattern that we did last time. Two times in parallel, two times in first position. Yeah? Here. Knee. 
Good. And we want to think about long pointed toes. And we keep them on the floor. So we're going to try just four tendus in each direction. We'll reach out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in, to the side. Good. Keep trying them. Back. This one's a little bit tricky. Reach it away from you. Then we're going to do four more to the side. Nice. Would you like to try that with music? We are going to do four in each direction on our right leg, and then four in each direction on our left leg. We'll keep our hands on our hips the whole time. Good, really well. Straight knees. Good. To the back. Nice, last time side. Good. Now get ready for left leg. Reaches front. Good. Straight knees on our left side too. Brushing the floor. Last time side. And freeze. Good. All right. Challenge round. Challenge round tondus goes. Tondu. Close. Tondu. Close. Tondu. We pick our foot off the floor and flex it in the air like we did in our warm up. We point it back down and close. Tondu. And close. Tondu. Close, down, do, flex, and point, close, back, and in, back, and in, back, flex, point, and close to the side, flex, and point, close, yes? So it's a little tricky when we flex and point, yes? We're really standing up on only one leg. You can also do four tantus in each direction again, which is what we just did last round. Okay, let's give tantus round two a try. Good job. That was lots of tondus. All right, 
Our tendus are gonna come off the floor now into a step we call dégagé. We're gonna brush off the floor, brush off the floor, brush off the floor, brush off the floor. Do you see that my legs look like my tendus? They're nice and straight, pointed feet, but they're just off the floor. So we're going to try the same first round that we did with tendus with our degages. So we'll brush out and in, out and in, out and in, and out, to the side, coming off the floor, off the floor, and off the floor, back, back and in, back and in, and back, to the side, do it. Let's give it a try. Here we go, off the floor. To the side. Nice and long. Good, brushing, brushing back. Side again. Other leg front. To the side. Going back. And brush, nice, so. And finish, good breeze. Whew. We're almost there. Round two, degages. As a step that we call pique. Can you say pique? Good. So it feels and looks exactly the way it sounds. It's a tiny little prick, like our flu. Good, try your other leg. Tap the floor, tap the floor, tap the floor, tap the floor. Nice. All right, so round two degages that have a pique go degage, close degage, close degage, pique, and close, hold, side, and side. Side, peek back side, and close. Hold, back, 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 peek back, and close. Hold, side, peek back, and in, freeze. Yes, so that was the right side. We'll do the right side and the left side. Don't forget, this is round two of degages. You can also do Four degages in each direction again, if you'd like. Here we go. Nice and strong. Good straight legs. To the side. Really light on those peaks. Good. Almost there. And freeze. job. If you're looking at your knee, we're going to move into our next round of steps. Yeah? All right. The first one we're going to do 
is called a march. I bet you can imagine what that one looks like in your head, can't you? Yeah. Where have you seen marching happen before? Mm, a parade, good, with musicians, nice. Maybe soldiers. Yeah, so we're gonna start our march just by picking our feet off the floor. Can you pick your feet off the floor? Good. Off the floor, off the floor, off the floor, off the floor. Good. And as you pick your feet off the floor, can you make them come up higher each time? Whoa. Are your knees coming all the way up like mine? Good. Do you hear the sound of your march? Good, I hear it. Keep going. It can happen traveling around. So let's try our march traveling. Good. All the way around the room. Good. You can try some more in place if you want. If you like a place. And if you would like a challenge, you can add some arms to your march. Yeah? So drop them by your side and bring them up. Bend down. March up. And down. Good. Two more like that. Up. And down. Last time. Up. And down. Good. Try that traveling. And freeze. Good marching. All right, keep those marches inside your brain. We're gonna do them again in a little bit, but we're gonna try another step first. And I think that you like this step. This step is called a skip. So to start our skip, we're coming off the floor just like we did with our marches, right? Now, think of a little swing, yeah? Can you swing your body while you try to march? Good. Ooh. 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 Good. Now we're going to swing with so much momentum that we come off the floor. Good. And when you got the hang of it, you can put your hands back on your hips, but keep your swinging feeling going to get you off the floor. Good. Keep skipping. We're gonna try them around the room. In place. Around. Few more in place. For years. Whew, those are hard ones. All right, so we traveled around the space wherever we wanted, right? Do you think we maybe did any patterns in our traveling? How'd you feel when you were moving around? Let's take a look. So, our first pattern that we're going to explore today looks like this. I'm going to show you my shape. Do you see that pattern? How would you describe this? 
Maybe a rectangle, you said? Yeah, maybe a square. How about a straight line? Did anyone think straight line? We call this, in dance, our straight pathway. Everyone find a straight pathway in your room and just take a walk on it. Right, so your body is going straight. Straight pathway. Let's try our march on our straight pathway. Yes, so we're traveling, right? We're not staying in one place, but we're going in a straight way. Good, you can try it with your arms, if you were using your arms. Good. Shall we try our skip on our straight line? Let's do it. So again, we're traveling, right? We're not staying in the same place. Straight path. All right, so that's our straight path. We're gonna pause on our straight path. You can keep practicing. All right, who can think of something that feels like the opposite of straight? Hmm, what could be the opposite of straight? Circle, circle's close, good. We're gonna use a circle to help us actually, but we call this our curved pathway, yeah? So let's just try that with walking. I'm gonna put my hand on my big ball and we're gonna take a curved walk around, yeah? So this path that I'm taking looks different than my straight line, right? Curved. And I'm going to walk in the other direction. Good. So you can try a curved pathway by walking around into anything. You can sit anything on the floor or just around yourself. Now, let's see if I can keep my curve in one spot. We're going to try some curved marches. March, 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 march. Good job. Try it with me. Curving marches. Good. Don't forget to pick those knees up. Good. Let's curve the other way. March. Good. A curve pathway is a little bit harder than a straight one, right? Excellent, freeze. Shall we try our skips next? Let's do it. Skip, then skip, then skip, skip all the way around. So we can make a big curve, right? Or a small curve. Today I'm making a small curve because I'm in a small space. Good, all right. I'm gonna say goodbye to my big curve. So now we're going to try those marching and skipping pathways again with our music, this time keeping in mind when we're straight and when we're curved. Ready? Let's do marches first. Marches in a straight line. If you run out of space in your straight line, you can just turn around like I am. Good. Then I'm going to try a straight line in this direction. Is your path still straight? Good. 
All right, let's keep those marches going in place and get ready for our curved path. Whoa. Are you marching on a big curve? Can you change the direction of your curve? Good. And let's find our skip again. Good. Stepping and skipping. And straight line. Good. Is your path still straight? All right, let's change the curve. Curving on the way. Good. Then bring your skipping to a freeze. Excellent. I loved getting to dance on those pathways. Yeah, it's really. It's really important to think about, you know, who are, are we moving straight? We're moving curved. Otherwise, we might be kind of somewhere in between, right? All right, so we're gonna use these steps and our brand new pathways to make up a dance. Does anyone remember who makes up dances? We talked about this type of person last week. Do you remember? Yes, choreographer. So everyone, take out your choreographer hat and put it back on. All right. So to choreograph today, I've got, oops, some magic in these bowls. Yeah. And the words that are in my bowls are in the lesson plan too. So you can use them to make your own magic bowls. One of my bowls has words on them that describe some steps we did today. My other magic bowl has some words that describe the pathways we worked on today. What we're going to do is make a dance by pulling a step and a pathway, and then we're gonna try it. All right, first step is see. Haha, <laughs> an easy one, walk. All right, so we're going to walk on a straight path. All right, everyone, go walk on your straight path. Nice, all right, I'm gonna keep those together and I'm gonna pick another combination now. See, march. All right, get those marching legs ready. Let's see, how are we gonna be marching? Curved, Whew, a little bit of a tricky one. All right, I'm gonna pick one more. Oh, I got two. March again. And how will we march time? Curved. So we've got walking straight, marching curved, marching curved again. Can we try that? Are you ready? Here we go. Walking straight. Nice straight path. 
half. Let's do it one more time. And straight. Now marching curved. And second time marching curved. Good. Let's do our whole dance again. Starting with our walking straight. Straight line. Straight line. Straight line. Now curves march. Other way. Good. All right. Well, you can do that as many times as you'd like. And you can put even more steps into your bowl if you want. Yes? You can use our class from last week as a reference. There are some steps in there. You can put those in or really any steps that you like. Um, and you can make as many combinations as you want to. And make your dance as long as you want. Yeah? The last piece of that is being a performer. Yes? So when we dance by ourselves, we're dancing, right? But if someone is watching us, we become a performer. So is there someone who is inside with you who can watch your dance? Yeah? Go get them. All right, good. Tell them to find a seat. Are they ready? All right, we're gonna try that dance one more time with our audience. Our audience is going to watch the entire thing. So some things to think about when we're performing, right? Is how can we be really clear with what we're doing, remembering, am I marching? Am I walking? Really showing that so that they see. And enjoying it, right? So getting to share everything that we did together. Okay, this will be our last round together for today, but you can keep trying as much as you want. Get ready. Here we go, straight line. Oh, I'm so happy you got to share that. All right. Well, I hope that you get to enjoy continuing to make your dances. But before we leave each other for today, we are going to cool down our bodies, cool down our minds, and move through some of those patterns that we did in the beginning of class. So if you did them sitting on the floor, you can do that again. If you'd like to try them standing this time, go for that. I'm going to do them sitting on my middle level again. Right. Find your place in the room. And deep breath in. Let it out. Deep breath in. Let it out. Calming our bodies down, nice and soft. The big breath. Really stretch. We've been working all of those muscles. Good. One more big stretch. Good, stretching forward. Coming up. Arching back. Let's do that again. Stretch forward. And back. Good, stretch your arms. 
Becky Young and Shusha Legs. Good. Stretch and right side. Good. And really long stretch on our left side. Nice. Stretch away. Stretch across. Stay there. Back to the middle. Stretch wide out. And stretch across. Okay. Back to center. One more big breath in. Let it out. Big breath, stand. Let it out. Big breath, arms reach up. Let it out. Last one. And finish. Great job. Oh, you did so much dancing today. I'm so proud of you. And I hope that you're proud of yourselves too. Um, don't forget, so happy to have gotten the chance to dance with you guys again today. And grown-ups who are tuned in, again, uh, if you have any capacity to give, we appreciate whatever you can contribute to our recovery fund so that we can keep dancing with you long into the future. All right, I'll see you guys soon.